Jimmy versus Sestak, the race for Pennsylvania Senate is tightening up. Let's get the inside story. Good morning, I'm Monica Melpass, and welcome to Inside Story. Let's meet our insiders this week. They are Nia Meeks, journalist. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome morning. back. Jan Ting, Temple Law Professor. Good morning, Good morning Jan. Ed Trzanski, Foreign Policy Analyst. Hi, Ed. And Terry Madonna, Political Pollster. Good morning. Welcome to all of you. The latest polls show a dead heat in the race for Pennsylvania Senate. Uh, Toomey versus Sestak, although there's a big money difference, the war chests are quite different. Uh, Toomey obviously has twice as much money so far as Sestak. And Republicans, by the way, haven't spent any of their federal allotment, so that's another 1.6 mil waiting to go. What are your uh, early assessments of the race? Are you surprised it got this tight this quickly? Mm -hmm. Three months ago, Sestak was behind by eight points. So the fact that he's been able to narrow the gap here is a dramatic improvement. Toomey represents uh, vested money interests. One would expect he'd be ahead in the money raising. It's going to be a tough year for uh, Democrats, but I think uh, Sestak really shows promise. The fact that Sestak, though, they had to spend so much money, $1.4 million. Million, yeah, to, yeah, uh, Five million on TV alone, correct. Monica. Uh, I think the fundraising will even out. Look, this is one of the most important Senate races in the country. Both parties and both leaders, you know, the senatorial campaign committees will put all the money that's necessary into this race. But here's the... Well, what and, makes and it I, so important? Why do you think it well, will be? it's called, if not control of the Senate, the last thing President Obama wants is to have 52 or 53 Democrats and thus allowing the Republicans and moderate Democrats to literally stymie his, his uh, uh, agenda for the uh, fourth, uh, third and fourth years. But here's the point. Look. The big wave is sweeping. It's definitely Republican. We find a 10 percent gap in enthusiasm between Republicans and Democrats, with Democrats not very enthusiastic. Additionally, down here in the Philadelphia suburbs, where the large core of independent voters of independent minded voters, they're Republican in sentiment this year, hmm. as opposed to 06 and 08 when they were Democrats. Those would have been the Arlen Specter voters had he not lost. But let's talk about neither man has good name recognition. So with that, they're a little evened out. But if you're a Democrat in, in this state right now, you're a little bit concerned. I mean, not just a Sestak and Toomey, but you're also looking at the gubernatorial election. There's not a lot of enthusiasm, and there's not a lot of high name recognition in the Philadelphia area. That causes problems and it causes depression. And and if the Keystone State swings red, and we're talking about from the governor's race also to this particular Senate race, it's going to cause problems nationally. We're talking about fundraising issues. We're talking about the national agenda. But governors, as well as senators, have a lot of sway and a lot of leeway. And the momentum has not been in favor of the White House. has not been in favor of the Democrats. Well, speaking of issues with uh, the election itself and some of the contributions, uh, Sastak has said he would not take certain monies. Yeah. But in the end, as we analyze how the money's coming in, look, he's taking contributions from employees who work for companies that have gotten some of these federal earmarks. Does that pass the smell test for you, Ed? Um, it doesn't matter what it, what it does for me. But in terms of the electorate, I'll go back to what Terry said about the broad sweep Where's, where's the big momentum? Right now, it's in favor of the Republicans. And you had mentioned, Monica, that neither candidate's well-defined. Well, the job is to raise money so that you define your opponent the way you want him to be viewed by the electorate. Sestak will say of Toomey, he's too conservative. Toomey will say of Sestak, he's too liberal. In this particular election cycle, being too conservative isn't as bad as being too liberal. liberal. Yeah, the other, there's a, uh, the narratives are pretty important. The Sestak people will say they're going to make Toomey out to be the derivative king. He will get blamed for everything that happened on Wall Street, even though he right. was there eons ago. And I'll say this, Sestak does Is that going to work? Well, uh, I mean, it's may, a tough may, economy probably still, not. So it's probably stick. not. But Sestak... You're shaking your head yes. Well, you this, think it will, Jan? This is, a, this is going to be a key race. The fact that Toomey has ads out already shows uh, mm -hmm. how, how concerned he is. This is in play, and uh, we all see a wave coming. And the question is, who are the survivors going to be? I think Sestak has a crack at being one of the Democrat survivors. Even though the Obama coattails are not looking no, good well, at the no, moment. No, not only are they not coattails, they're, they're a detriment. Right. I, I would suspect you're not going to see the president be any in this state with the exception of the city of Philadelphia his job performance is at a, a, a 20 suffered a 20 point decline mm -hmm. in this state but nationally. was not Obama's candidate. That, that's true, it, it that's true. but they need each Democrat. other they're hip they're they're linked at the hip the interesting thing and I'll, I'll end on this is that they need each other Sestak no love with between Sestak and the White House but 
They both understand the importance, but here's the problem. Sestak will campaign against Washington and against the establishment. Mm -hmm. He's the populist in this, even though his party controls Washington, House, Senate, and the president. But he'll Most try important. to be the independent-sounding Democrat. And yeah. it's not exactly. going to work this time because he has fully embraced the Obama program. Yep. He may not have been Obama's candidate, but he has fully embraced That's that exactly program. Right. And this so will is that make him look like he's trying to pull talk out of both sides of his mouth? Absolutely. It'll, it'll open the, the opportunity for Toomey to say that, that he's not being sincere. But yeah. this program is so unpopular right now that it's difficult for those candidates who wrap themselves around it. And Toomey will help yeah. Sestak find his way. Yeah. As long as Toomey more. continues to keep the focus on the economics and not the social agenda, he may coast through this. But if people reflect back to where he was when he ran for the Senate before, he could have problems. And that's the only hope, really, the suspect people have. All right, let's move on to the Pennsylvania governor's race. This one also very interesting, Tom.